I'm going to make a bike for a doll using thin cardboard from cereal boxes, a hole punch, craft paint, thread, Mod Podge, recycled computer paper, ribbon, a pencil, a nail file, and glue. I start by cutting down the side of a cereal box, lay it flat, and sketch out a wheel for the bike. Using a ruler, I draw a line through the center, then sketch around the lines to make them thicker. Draw a circle around the center point, cut it out, use a hole punch to put a hole in the center, place the circle on another piece of cardboard, and then make a triangle that extends past the circle. Tracing the circle for the wheel, and then making a line that extends out like so. Extend the top of the triangle for the seat, add another circle at the end of the triangle. Using a doll as a guide, I make a line at the top of the triangle that is about the same length as the doll's arm. Make a parallel line to this side of the triangle. I line up my ruler to the center of the back wheel, making sure it's parallel to the top line. Then I make a circle down at this end for the front wheel. Place the wheel over the circle, then trace the circle in the center of the wheel. Draw another connecting line. Draw around the lines to make them thicker. Cut it out, and I like to cut into the corners first to reach some of those hard to reach spots. Sketch out the handlebars. The seat and the pedals. Cut them out. Punch a hole out of the center of the circles to make my pattern. Or you can just go to our blog and print off our pattern. Begin tracing them onto more cardboard. Cut them out. Cut a few pieces of the frame without the extensions for the wheels. Cut a few extra circles, then begin gluing similar cutouts together. And as I glue the wheels, I just turn them slightly so that the wheels start to look like they have spokes. Divide the frame of the body into two even stacks. So once glued, I have a stack of four of the full frame, then a stack of six for the cut one, and another stack of four. Six cutouts for each wheel, eight for the handlebars, ten for the seat, five for each pedal, and we cut out and stacked five small rectangles for the bottom of the pedal, and a stack of six for each circle. Sand the rough edges. I sand down this bottom edge of the frame to give the wheel a little more clearance. Glue the pieces of the frame together, then continue sanding to make the edges smooth. I even sanded some details on the seat. Sand between the layers of the frame so the wheels can move smoothly. Begin painting the pieces. Wrap the ends of the handlebars with thread and secure with glue. Paint them with a layer of Mod Podge. Roll a piece of cut computer paper around a toothpick. Secure the end with glue. Paint them. Begin to assemble the bike by sliding the wheel through the opening in the frame. Use the paper tubes to secure the wheel in place. Use a hole punch on a painted piece of cardboard and glue it over the ends of the paper tube. Glue the large circle in place, then the smaller circle. Glue a piece of ribbon around the circles. Glue the parts of the pedal together, then glue them in place. Attach the back wheel the same way as the front, the seat, the handlebars, and you're done. Happy crafting!
It is your time to shine. Submit your original doll photos on Facebook or play GPS Dad for a chance to be in one of our videos because you're so fabsome. Are you coming? Yeah, I just need to finish getting my stuff out of the car. Now's our chance. Get in the bag. Why is my bag so heavy? Do not worry. The man of iron can help you. Not you again. Let me carry that for you. I don't need your help. Sophie, no. I can do it on my own. We want to give a shout out to Maddie Hatter. What's up? Ah! Gotcha. Here, I've rescued your bag. Great. Now there's another one. Hey, where did Claudine go? 